I think May 2019 turned out really awesome. Stay tuned for the biggest debt payment of my whole journey. Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here. If you're new to this channel, I'm currently following the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I am on baby step number two, paying off about $42,000 in debt. Here we go over my budget updates, my debt snowball, vlogs, hauls, that kind of thing. So if you want to continue to follow me on my journey, click the little red subscribe button down below as well as the bell icon so you're notified when I post next. I think I absolutely crushed it in May. This is the year of the hustle and boy did I hustle hard. Plus it was a three paycheck month so that helped out as well. Let's go over the pay first. My first paycheck was $1,188.77. Second one was $949.31. I have a variable income. Things can go up or down or in between. You just never know. I have to kind of play it by ear. My boyfriend's amount, um, that's his half of the bills that are listed below. I just, he pays me and I pay it out of my account. So his was $502.47. My side hustles ended up being $900.25. I'll go over that in just a second. My third paycheck, I have it at the very bottom just because it's an extra paycheck, only happens twice a year, and that was $2,136.36, .36, and I definitely don't think I was expecting that much for that last one, so that definitely pushed me over the top there. Let's go over my side hustles because I hustled. We'll start at the bottom down here. My first week for Instacart and DoorDash, it was actually paid on the first, so there's actually five weeks of Instacart, DoorDash, and I started Postmates, but I've only done one order with them so far, so I can't really give you an opinion on that right now. Instacart, the first week was $18.30. DoorDash was $58.15. The second week, Instacart was $128.44. DoorDash was $130.54. Third week, Instacart, we really hustled this week. It was $225.85. And DoorDash was $112.74. And then with DoorDash, I finally, because I got recommended by somebody else, one of my other friends. And so if I did 100 dashes within 90 days, I was going to get a $100 bonus. And she got a bonus as well. So I finally hit that 100 delivery mark and I got an extra hundred dollars so that's what this is here moving on to the fourth week I did Postmates I did that one order I got four dollars and seven cents for that order Instacart I got 82.16 and then I didn't do anything for DoorDash that week because uh, I was starting to slow down also I had a lot of work going on which is why I got this two thousand dollars here so that paired with slowing down a little bit with my side hustles. I didn't get anything the fifth week, but I did do some dog sitting at the end of the month. So I got $12 for that. Uh, I actually won something from the Albertsons Monopoly because I play with the stuff. I, I shop at Albertsons a lot. I shop the sales. So I get the Monopoly stuff and I ended up getting an instant win of $5. And it wasn't a $5 gift card. It was $5 cash. So I tossed that into my side hustle category. And then at the end of the month, I went ahead and deposited all of my DoorDash and Instacart cash tips for the month, and that was $23 total for the whole month. Most people like to tip in app, and I know not a lot of people have cash on hand anyways, but that's cool that I was able to add another $23 into that. A little bit short of $1,000, that's really cool. But as I said, I'm going to kind of cut back. We'll see how next month goes. But it is the year of the hustle. I still got to hustle. Let's move into savings. I upped my car maintenance to $150 because I was getting ready to take my car in for its repair. I did finally do that at the beginning of June. So you'll see that in my June budget report. And that takes out a good chunk of what was here. But I put $150 in there for the month. Medical, I put $200. For the month, I did spend a copay at my GI doctor, $45. And then I didn't have enough in my cash envelopes to get some more probiotics from Sam's and it's actually a pretty good deal because there's 80 in there and so that was 32.47. I decided to go ahead and use the medical sinking fund for that. 
I did put 200 in there because there are some final bills that I need to settle from all the lab work and stuff that I did. I really need to go over it all and see about getting everything completely paid off and paid down. I need to beef up my sinking fund category for that in order to pay those off. But that left me with $526.06 at the end of the month. Phone, I would like to start putting towards phone again for things like chargers, batteries, whatever I might need, and then eventually save up for a new phone. Obviously, I'm not going to hit that hard. It's just for now to keep my phone chugging along until I'm debt free. So I did put $20 in there. This month, I've had to put $50 into gifts. I need to start beefing it up. This is about the time of year where I need to start gearing up for Christmas. I know it's quite a ways away, but when you find things on sale that's the perfect gift, you'll be glad that you have money in your sinking fund. Also, there's other things that come up throughout the year, and I spent a lot of the beginning of the year not putting too much in it. May, I did have Mother's Day, so... I put $50, but I was only left with $23.14 at the end of the month. My grandma has really gotten into Starbucks drinks, so I got her a $15 Starbucks card for her Mother's Day gift. My mom's Mother's Day gift, I spent $20.64. This was a collaborative effort between me and my sisters. We've decided to make this tradition now. Last year was the first year that we did it but we're gonna make my mom baskets for Mother's Day. This is for everything, this is for the basket, and we did a baked potato bar for dinner and also bought one pizza from Little Caesars. So the total cost for all of that was just over $60 and we split it three ways. So that's where that $20.64 comes from. Last year we did a treat yourself pamper kind of thing with some movie stuff, like a movie and some snacks, as well as bath items. This year, because she is getting more into her garden right now, we did a garden-themed basket. Go to Dollar Tree. That is the best. And then, of course, you want like a wow item that you might spend a little bit more on. But Dollar Tree for building these baskets is the best. I think it was, I think that's a really good idea. Gift baskets are a great way to kind of make a really thoughtful gift without spending too much. And then Dave Ramsey has their yearly $10 sale and it's become tradition. My mom's birthday is in June to get her a Dave Ramsey book or just like a book that's included in the $10 set. Obviously, I'm going to run out of Dave Ramsey books. The first year was the Total Money Makeover and that actually is what got her started on her own journey. So two years ago, almost, she started on her own journey to debt freedom. Last year, I got her Rachel Cruz's book, Love Your Life, Not Theirs, and this year, I got her another book. She asked me what, I won't say what it is, but she asked me, like, oh, what did you get from Dave? Because she saw the book sitting, like, wrapped up still from delivery sitting on my table, and I'm like, oh, I just got some extra Total Money Makeover books. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> but I only got the one book, so it was $14.95. $10 for the book, $4.95 for the shipping. So she has another book for her birthday. So that came out of the gifts fund. Shows is nothing for right now. It's just sitting at $68.52. Housing, rent always $850. City came out to $73.05. Electric, $35.99. And internet, $45.89. That comes out to this amount here, $1,004.93. ,000 that divided in half is what my boyfriend owes me. But then I take $150 off for my health insurance, which is down here in the regular bills. Regular bills is what I am solely responsible for. So I do take that off of the 500 and some dollars that he owes me to pay him back because I get it through his work. And then under regular bills, I also have phone for $85.91 and a car insurance for 100 Nothing in miscellaneous this month. Cash envelopes. Because there was three paychecks, that means there's three cash envelopes. I don't do it uh, per month. I don't split it as, you know, this is the first half of the month, this is the second half. I split it by every two weeks. So that means whenever there's a third paycheck, that means there's a third cash envelope session. And I haven't released that video yet. I still actually need to record it. And that will be labeled as the first June cash envelope stuffing, but it's budgeted from May. So what I ended up doing, I had $150 per paycheck for gas since I did so much side hustles for driving around, deliveries and stuff. $150 per paycheck, that's $450 for the month. 
Medical, always 25 per paycheck, 75 for the month. Cats is always 20 per paycheck, 60 for the month. Personal, I usually will do $50 minimum. So I skipped one paycheck. So I had two paychecks that were $50, which is $100 for the month. Hair, I went ahead and I ended up funding it all three paychecks just to kind of beef it up. So that was $20 per paycheck because I do $20 whenever I do fill it. That's $60 for the month. Clothing, I only filled it once this month and I will put $10 whenever I fill it. So that's $10 for the month. Wallet, I do $20 as well whenever I fill it. I only did it twice this month. So that was $40 for the month. Groceries and household was nothing. This is usually covered by the church checks. My boyfriend and I, we split the duties at a church, so we just put those checks straight into groceries and household. So I will supplement it when I have to or when I decide to, but I didn't do it this month. And here it is. Here is the exciting part, the debt payoff. The hustle paid off, you guys. So this $100 here, let's start with this. This is the minimum payments pays the rest of the four loans that I have left. It is the minimum payments plus a little bit more just to round it up to an even $5, which would make it 100. So that was the minimum payment that paid on the 22nd. And then at the end of the month, I made two other payments. This first Fed loan snowball payment, that is the snowball payment that I made on my fourth student loan. I paid off the first three. I'm on my fourth. And this $1,923.25 paid off the fourth student loan. This is a little sneak peek because I haven't done my debt snowball update yet. And not everybody watches these videos. So if you watch both, you get a little sneak peek. Of course, you won't see the full numbers, but I paid off my fourth loan. And then on top of that, I not only got to put a little bit onto my fifth loan, but I was able to put $1,098.07 towards that next loan. This is my fifth loan that I am starting and I was able to put over $1,000 towards it. So I took a nice chunk out of that loan. That I, mean, I only have three loans left guys and I was able to take a good chunk out of one of those loans out already. And if we scroll down here, it tells me my total debt payment was $3,121.32. That is my total debt payment for the month. That is the largest amount that I've ever put. And that is all just from my income and side hustles and hustling up a storm. So I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to show you guys my debt snowball update. So please stay tuned for that. I'll of course put the links up above to subscribe and another video that YouTube will suggest for you guys, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.